నమస్తే స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆర్హెచ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ ఇన్ కెమిస్ట్రీ రేడియో టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఇస్ డి అండ్ ఎఫ్ బ్లాక్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ క్లోజ్ యువర్ ఐస్ ఫర్ ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ అండ్ లిసన్ అండ్ రివైజ్ సమ్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్స్ ఇన్ డి అండ్ ఎఫ్ బ్లాక్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ చాప్టర్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఇన్ ద పార్ట్ వన్ టుడే we know that zinc cadmium and mercury are not considered as transition elements as these are not having any unpaired electrons in ground state and also in common oxidation state zinc cadmium and mercury are not considered as transition elements remember that second important point is that common oxidation state of d block element is plus 2 and we know d block elements show variable oxidation state except for scandium and zinc except scandium and zinc other elements can show variable oxidation state chromium and copper can exhibit plus 1 oxidation state also due to exceptional configuration exceptional configuration is there for chromium and copper and always remember highest plus 7 oxidation state in 3d series exhibited by manganese and the highest plus 8 oxidation state is exhibited by in the whole d block element exhibited by osmium and ruthenium remember metallic bond strength when we consider metallic bond strength directly proportional to number of unpaired electrons and melting point directly proportional to metallic bond strength and also enthalpy of atomization is also directly proportional to metallic bond strength so metallic bond strength directly proportional to number of unpaired electron directly proportional to melting point directly proportional to enthalpy of atomization but one exception in melting point you have to remember that is manganese having less melting point than chromium and iron that is due to more stability of the manganese that is the exception manganese is having melting point less than chromium and iron remember that point although having it is five unpaired electrons in d orbital then if you consider atomic radius atomic radius from scandium to chromium decreases remember decreases scandium to chromium decreases chromium to copper is almost the same and copper to zinc decreases if the question is there iron cobalt nickel almost the same radius remember very important set of element iron cobalt and nickel same radius but in 4d and 5d series when we compare both 4d and 5d series have similar atomic radius similar atomic radius due to lanthanide contraction very very important lanthanide contraction then in the oxidation state if you remember higher oxidation state for element any element with fluorine and oxygen is more stable for example if you consider chromium crf6 is more stable than crf2 so cri6 does not exist i can tell always higher oxidation state for element with fluorine and oxygen is more stable because of strong oxidizing nature of iron this fluorine and oxygen in that once again if they ask whether oxides are more stable or fluorides are more stable remember oxides are more stable because of double bond formation capacity of oxygen it will make that a stable strong double bond oxides are more stable than fluorides but for halides remember copper if i consider cu i2 does not exist remember that point cu i2 does not exist 
because Cu is not stable in plus 2 oxidation state with iodine. Remaining things I will discuss in the next class part 2. Thank you. Have a nice day.